Hello, welcome to this tutorial where I'm going to show you how you can add fiat deposit method to your Tradex Pro Exchange website. First, open your front end Next.js app in a code editor. As you can see, I already have opened my front end Next.js app in VS Code. Then I opened the .env file. What we are going to do here is you are going to place your public Stripe secret key at this position, and then you are going to place your public PayPal client key at this position. Once you have done placing this, you are going to save this code, and then open up a terminal and navigate to the directory where your front end project exists that is all right once you have navigated to the project directory where your front end next.js app exists you are going to run three commands the first is yarn install hit enter the second command is yarn installs this command yarn installs is going to take a bit time to complete executing the reason we are executing these commands is that we have just changed the .env file or have made some changes to our project so when we run these commands yarn install yarn installs and then yarn starts all these changes can take effect all right the command yarn installs has finished executing and this command is the one that takes the longest time to execute then we need to execute yarn starts and our front end has been served so open your browser and log in to your Tradex Pro Exchange website backend as an admin. And then open another tab and open your front end app. Log in as a user. So I are entering my email and password. Clicking sign in. They're going to ask for a two factor authentication code that I enabled earlier. So let's enter that code and then click verify. All right. So we're logged in as a user on our Tradex Pro Exchange website's front end. Alright, let's click the report. So here we have uh, no fiat deposit history here. And we do not have access to deposit via fiat currency. So how do we do that? To do that we need to go to the back end where we logged in as an admin. So let's go to backend. This is our backend dashboard where I'm logged in as an admin. From the left sidebar menu, click on settings, then click on features. When this features screen comes, click on fiat deposit settings. Fiat deposit settings screen appears. On this screen, as you can see, the enable fiat deposit field is disabled by selecting no. So we're going to click here and select yes and then click update. What this did is that this enabled our 
fiat deposit methods and process if you have a look at this side you can see that the two-factor authentication for fiat deposit has also been enabled in the same process now let's go back to the front end and hit refresh and this time you'll see that there is a fiat deposit history so click on it and you'll see that your fiat deposit history is empty because you have not deposited any fiat currency yet so you can also see that there is a menu appeared on the top navbar called fiat deposit click on it and this screen appears this empty screen appears why is this empty because we have to enable the fiat deposit methods from the back end so let's go to tradex pro exchange back end and from the left sidebar menu click fiat deposit and then click payment method as you can see there is no payment method added yet so we're going to go and hit this add new button on the right hand side you can see a drop down field click on it and you'll see four different methods you can use to deposit fiat currency all right let's start adding them so it's up to you how many types of methods you want accessible to the users of your web service you can choose to add all of them bank deposit credit card wallet deposit paypal or you can choose to add just one or two of them for this tutorial let's add all of these methods let's click on bank deposit and let's name it bank deposit click this enable slider and then click save our payment method bank deposit has appeared let's click the add new button again we're going to add credit card method uh, let's name it credit card credit card method click this enable slider and then click save and this is screen appeared where it shows that we have two payment method added here let's hit the add new button again and let's add wallet deposit click the slider and hit the save button and we have three deposit methods let's click the add new button again select paypal method let's name it paypal click the slider to enable it and then click save all right so on our back end we have all four fiat deposit methods active so let's go back to front end and see what happened on the top number we have click the fiat deposit menu all right nothing has come yet because we haven't uh, hit the refresh button so let's hit the refresh button and as you can see we have all four methods right here bank deposit credit card wallet deposit paypal okay click on them to see their interface let's click on wallet deposit what we do in wallet deposit is we can deposit some for example btc cryptocurrency by spending some usdt cryptocurrency for example so let's assume we're going to deposit 120 usdt tether cryptocurrency to deposit 0 0.006 bitcoins all right so let's click the deposit button and this is screen is asking for your google authenticator two-factor authentication code let's enter that 
and hit the submit button and as you can see it has worked we have been redirected to this page from the top navbar click reports and then from the left sidebar menu click fiat deposit history and as you can see this screen is displaying us that we have successfully deposited 0 0.006 BTC to our account spending 120 USDT Tether to deposit 0 0.006 BTC and the process succeeded alright let's go back and look at the other methods so from here let's click the PayPal method similarly we are going to spend for example 150 US dollar currency USD US dollar we are going to deposit using our PayPal account so this is 150 dollars and what we are going to convert it into let's assume we are going to convert into USDT so 150 dollar US dollar equals to 150 uh, USD Tether and here comes the PayPal buttons let's click the PayPal button and this is the interface PayPal interface comes and you have to enter your PayPal credentials and allow them to deposit this 150 US dollar to your Tradex Pro exchange website and that's how you do PayPal deposits now let's go back to credit card deposits in here you're going to need to enter your credit card number this is the sample number I'm providing along with other credentials so that's done let's click the deposit button and this is displaying us how much we want to spend how much we want to deposit okay let's enter 170 US dollar and what are you going to buy with it it's not actually buying we are depositing this 170 dollar as cryptocurrency to our trade x pro exchange website account so when it, that has been selected let's click the deposit button and again they're asking for your google two-factor authentication code enter that code and hit submit when you hit submit it will redirect you to the space where it will show that you have successfully deposited this amount right now out of these four methods we have seen the three methods except for bank deposit let's click the bank deposit method and when it comes as you can see you can select the amount there is a select bank field click on it and it's displaying no banks so how do you add some bank options go back to your trade X Pro exchange websites backend and from the left sidebar menu click on fiat deposit and then click on bank list as you can see the bank list is empty because we haven't added any bank details yet so let's click this add new button and here we're going to add our details to our to our bank account it is the account where the deposit amounts would be added so from here select your country for now we're going to select United States for example then let's start filling those fields this is the account holder name enter that name then the account holder address enter the address the bank name enter the bank name the shift code that your bank provided enter that enter your bank address 
and then there is the account number is called IBAN that is the international bank account number enter that and this is a note optional if you want to add something you can add something and this is the enable slider click on it and then click save as you can see this bank details has been added to your bank list table now go back to Tradex Pro Exchange front end and then click this refresh button when this page appears click on this select bank drop down menu and right here you can see the bank name that we just added so click on it and as you can see the details of this bank and bank account has been displayed right here so scroll up a bit and now you can enter the amount that you want to deposit so they're asking you to select the currency and right here you can choose either euro or united states dollar let's select united states dollar and let's assume we're going to deposit 220 dollars and let's assume we're going to deposit into our usd tether usdt account all right so 220 dollars equals to 220 usdt that is usd tether at the final field they're asking you to add a image of the actual bank transition that has occurred that is if you have used an online bank transfer to deposit your fiat currency then you could add a screenshot at the moment when that transaction has succeeded and you can upload this that screenshot right here so when you have done that let me give you an example let's click this button and add a image file add your image and then click this deposit button and again they're asking for your Google two-factor authentication code enter that code and hit the submit button and your transaction request will be accepted and it will not succeed right now because the authority is going to have a look at the screenshot at the image that you have provided the authority is going to check if the image you provided is authentic if it is authentic they are going to allow this transaction and you'll see that your fiat deposit has succeeded and when it does succeed you can come here on the top navbar and click reports and then from the side bar menu click on fiat deposit history and you'll see the actual amounts that you have successfully deposited right here and that's all